You may have heard the words grid tied, on grid, or off grid. These are important concepts in solar energy. In this video, I will explain these concepts and introduce some of the basic components. Finally, I will show you some of the economic differences as well. First is the grid tied system, also known as on grid. The grid supplies electricity from your electric company to your home as 110 volt AC power. To get solar power into your grid connected home, you would need solar panels installed on the roof of your home and utilize a grid tie inverter. A grid tie inverter takes the DC current which your solar panel generates and converts it to AC current which can be used in your home. This is one of the cheapest and most efficient ways to power your home with solar. The other option uses a system called the Maximum Power Point Tracking, also known as MPPT. This system uses more elements than the system seen before. First, the solar panels convert sunlight into DC power. That power goes through a charge controller to then charge a bank of batteries. Those batteries feed an inverter which turns the DC power to AC power or alternating current to power your home. However, every time power goes through a device there are losses. Some power is lost as it goes from the solar panels through a charge controller. Then it goes to a battery which has resistance therefore more losses. More losses again as it comes out of the battery and through another inverter and finally to your house. There are losses in every step before the power reaches your house, making the system less efficient. For the most part, if you don't need batteries, it's best not to use them as they are not cheap and last from 3 to 5 years unless you buy an expensive set of batteries which can last 15 to 20 years. You would want batteries in places where you may get many power outages if the grid fails and as a backup or for cloudy days. The best option is to have a big bank of solar panels and a grid tied inverter so that any excess power can be fed back to the grid for credit to use when needed. The solar panels have to be well connected so that if any of them is shaded or not pointed correctly to the sun it can draw out power for the whole system. But if you use a microinverter in each solar panel, if you have a problem or failure with one solar panel, the rest of the array can function correctly. Second is the off-grid system. An off-grid system is where you don't have the grid feeding your house. Generally speaking, if you have a farm or a vacation home steep in the woods or up on a mountain, it will cost a good amount of money to bring the grid to your home. It will be far more cost efficient to power your home using a solar system. With an off-grid system, you need to be careful as you want to power your home with solar as efficiently as possible. You need to carefully calculate what your power requirements are because there is no grid to fall back on. Without the grid, you need to fully understand and calculate the power requirements for your heating, cooking, and entertainment needs while trying to make them run as efficiently as possible. Being more efficient in your home will save you money three times over. The reason for this is because any extra power you need has to be accounted for by using additional panels, potentially a bigger inverter or charge controller, and then a larger battery bank. It is much more economical to make your home run more efficiently than to spend extra money in three extra places to provide the necessary power for your home. An off-grid system can potentially run far more efficiently, as most grid-connected systems have to make accommodations for electrical appliances running off 220 volts in addition to losing efficiency when going through charge controllers, batteries, and inverters. In an off-grid system, it's best to have the solar panels bringing power through your charge controller. This is essential because you need to control the amount of charge that goes into your battery bank. An MPPT charge controller makes the collection of power from your solar panels much more efficient. Once you have the power coming into your batteries, you potentially have the option for an off-grid system to run your household off of a 12, 24, or 48 volt system. If you have a 12 volt system, you can potentially power your lighting directly from it. This would be no more inverting, making a far more efficient use of the power coming from your battery bank. Of course, you may have to introduce an inverter so that you can partially run some things off of 12 volts as well as some appliances or entertainment systems which need 110 or 220 volts. So there you have it, on grid versus off grid. Just remember, on-grid is much more economical and usually the way I recommend you start. Off-grid is more efficient, but is most useful if you do not have access to the grid. Use our website, solarflix.com, to calculate the cost of solar for your home. 
or call us for a free consultation with a solar engineer. Thanks for watching and don't forget, we have many more videos to help you at SolarFlakes.com. Thank you.